the former coach, <laughs> Dean Laidley, has he ever threatened to sack you? <laughs> yeah, Laidley wouldn't have sacked me one day because um, we had a – remember, I don't know, you might not have been here that year, that we had that golf day, Heath. <laughs> yeah. It was a mid-season break, had a golf day, and a bit of shit went down that day. I think there was like a portal who got tipped over, a golf cart got rolled, um, someone threw a knife at a board member. Like, just, <laughs> this, was back when, this was back when footy was genuinely footy. Okay, so anyway – the pe- our fitness bloke said, right, you know, the fitness bloke said, Rio boys, no drinking today. And I was like, nah, that's bullshit. You know, why can't we drink? So we undermined the fitness bloke by going, first of all, to see I was a skipper and said, do you reckon the Rio boys could have a drink today? So I couldn't see why not. I'll check, I'll check with Lay. He walks over and Lay's thumbs us up, like, his thumb and I thought, oh, must be all good to have a few beers. And so we proceeded to tip down that many beers on the ninth hole. That anyway, we end up, they end up getting rid of us and sending us back to the club. And like it was like a local footy bus trip. We were like doing sing alongs with skull and beers. Like we we're like, this is unbelievable. Like only three hours ago we weren't allowed to drink. <laughs> anyway, so then we like, I ordered everyone back to my house. And so like we had like, ordered. Yeah, ordered. Like, Come ordered. on, boy, she's on. <laughs> no, <I'm> like, <laughs> anyway, so yeah, one thing led to another. Next thing you know, there's a cop at my house at about five in the morning. <laughs> What, for a noise complaint? I'd thrown a wheelie bin onto my neighbour's balcony. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And like, once again... I was going to bring that, that up. Once was again, there was people up. hiding under the bed. I could tell you. <laughs> there was a lot of feet hanging out. <laughs> so we panicked and we just... We brought, the, brought a crew of two or three in and said, listen, we're going to have to take the rap in. <laughs> again, <laughs> common theme. And um, I said, I reckon if we do this, this and this, like, the club shouldn't find out about this. Anyway, like, before we could even get to the club, right, I think me and Patchy were doing our rehab work. Had on, you played a game yet? No, I hadn't no. played a game. <laughs> I was making my presence felt. Yeah. And, um, I was coming off a knee recap, yeah. and like I see, here comes Laid Storm <laughs> out of the gym. H is in a knee brace, and he just done his piece. You know, he's behind him, like looking like he's going to cry, <laughs> <laughs> and he's looking around. He's, like, like, he's, po- he's pointing he's at Aaron Edwards. He's found Aaron, and then he's found Mike Wunkin. I'm like thinking, I'm just going to get my car and leave the club. <laughs> I'm, I'm earning 30k plus minus tax, and I'm about to get the almighty spray. Anyway, he's pulled us in. I thought he knew the cops were at my house, so he's like, Nathan. And what the f- <laughs> happened last night? And I was like, oh, yeah, the cops come. But I, he wasn't even talking about the cops. <laughs> and he's like, what the? F- that's it. I'm sick of your name coming across my desk. I'm going to sack you or something like that. And I was like, oh, God. Like, put me back in your seat a little bit. And so anyway, I ended up pulling me up into the office and said, um, yeah, you're sick of my name coming across his desk and if the AFLPA allowed, he'd sack me. But once I knew, obviously, the AFLPA didn't allow it, I grew a leg. <laughs> <laughs>